Hey guys, what's up? It's been a long time since we did a long video, like previously four or five videos back, and we did a video on uh, VMC mini VMC which we made it ourselves, and uh, now we are do going to attach an uh, uh, extra additional part which is actually uh, A axis. A axis is something which is parallel to X axis, and uh, there are many. There are two other axes like uh, B and C axis, which uh, which are parallel to Y and Z correspondingly. So, so uh, x is equal to a and y is y equal to b, b and z is equal to c. That is a simple uh, uh, logic which you can set for it so that you can uh, understand it easily. And based on the product which we are going to mill it in it, uh, based on that you can choose any axis in it. So if the product is going to be a symmetrical thing, then you need a c axis. Uh, if the product going needs a multi-axis machining, then you, can, you will be needing uh, more than one axis along with it and x y z will be the constant axis which you will be using like a 3d printer or a craft of uh, some dimensional thing so uh, this is actually a y axis where you can mount it there will be four mounting holes on it so you can mount it to the vmc uh, frame which we have uh, shown in that video uh, so uh, the people who didn't see the video of uh, machining uh, can be um, you can see the link in the description or uh, over here or somewhere yeah. okay so um, we are actually um, machining wooden material a long time and right now we are um, going to manufacture in a uh, plastic uh, famous plastic called peak uh, which is an uh, best plastic for uh, thermal insulating and other uh, strength related parts so it actually starts to melt at 400, 400 to 400 to 450 degree um, based on the loading condition it starts to deform uh, actually I, this is a why we, we use to pick the polyether uh, keto the element is used because uh, we we had an issue with our heater block uh, because uh, the the part we used there they didn't uh, stand the higher temperatures like a 250 degree celsius so we we have uh, milled our very own uh, uh, block with uh, the peak in order that we can uh, use it for high temperature purposes and also the main advantage is that it's, uh, it, uh, the thermal uh, balance can be maintained by using this peak filament peak I mean peak filament is a peak block and also uh, the usage of fan in the, for cooling the heater block can be reduced and uh, which uh, adds on to the reduction in weight of uh, the carriage uh, actually, we are printing at higher speeds, like 200 to 50 mm per second, which uh, which helps us more. So our default printing speed can uh, is actually 150 mm per second to 160 mm per second, uh, and, uh, and also we have uh, some issues while uh, doing this B A axis actually. So uh, we used the Marlin and uh, that is RAM, uh, Arduino RAM uh, combination. Uh, for the mother microcontrollers and as well as motherboard for the machine uh, so everyone used uh, Mac 3 and Mac 4 uh, sort of thing which is uh, easy to do because everything has been done already so it is a pre-configured so we, 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 we like to do it in the Marlin uh, so basically it uses E access uh, we have converted it uh, e-axis into e-axis for machining uh, so in 3d printing we use e-axis for extruding the filament so um, this this uh, table can rotate full 360 uh, and we also use an ema 17 stepper motor engine so and we can, first we can see the design phase of uh, this product uh, which which will be uh, quite uh, good so you can watch it. So the part which you are seeing is the uh, uh, E-axis. So it has two main frames which uh, support the cutting loads and other parameters. And there will be a table in, it in which a plastic uh, PLA printed uh, wire will be mounted in it. And in the design we, uh, we, we thought that NEMA motor uh, connected tightly to the shaft will be okay. Uh, but in the real world, Due to the cutting forces, uh, it can't withstand the torque of the cutting uh, torque and uh, pulling forces of uh, spindle. 
So we added a gearbox to it which you can see here and um, after adding the gearbox it sustained the cutting parameter properly. So it has a play of uh, 2 degree uh, which actually a good thing from the gearbox so you will have a play between the gears and it has been uh, stepped up so we got a 1.2 to 1.5 degree of uh, play so what we did is uh, we added a um, uh, brake conventional brake like setup so in which you can uh, remove this bolt and you can rotate the part easily once the bolt is uh, um, tightened up then it will be a fixed thing you can't rotate it uh, so this has a actually how it locks is you can see some um, grooves. grooves in it like a gear uh, every 20 degree will have a cut like this so it, the same shape of this part has been printed in this uh, white uh, material so it actually grabs the gear uh, like this and you can't rotate it uh, but if you uh, remove the lock then you can rotate using the uh, NEMA 17 motor so this is the product right now we are uh, upgrading it to the machine and we actually started to manufacture uh, we started to mill uh, peak material by placing it in this plastic wise and which you can see in this uh, video uh, right now you can see the video so eventually after a pass of uh, 10 to 15 mm uh, the peak material, as, as I say, peak material is so hard. So once you have, uh, actually we didn't uh, keep the peak material uh, completely inside the vise. We actually used only 15 to 10 percent of the uh, material uh, which we regularly use for when in, in metal uh, clamping. But in as it is a plastic clamping at the small area, it, it can withstand the pressure. So eventually the block uh, skipped out from the Wise. Uh, due to the urgency of uh, research in the peak material, we need to mill it. So again, we moved back to conventional milling, and I have idea to change it into nylon or uh, actually mill uh, aluminium uh, material and use it in this. So this is the thing which we are right now. Um, if anyone interested in this uh, design, so that you can work on it and still we can improve this part so that it can be used to any other uh, DIY uh, person because uh, buying a, a machine which can be customizable is not an uh, uh, matter in this uh, era because everything has its own uh, um, legal terms and condition for this machine and if you are doing by yourself then that is a quite different thing. Uh, in the place you can use like this access which is customizable for depending upon your need. Uh, so actually uh, we were uh, talking about the building part of it. So you can see the design right now. Uh, you can see the complexity of it. Uh, it has uh, all, uh, every angle in it has a working um, thing. So you can, you need to work in the top, uh, you, you will have three drills in it. And for side drilling you also have a, um, one on one side slot milling and another uh, left side in the slot milling and in front and back also you have a two mounting holes so this uh, you need multi uh, machining angles like you need you will be working in this plane in this plane in this plane and this plane and this plane also so for that we uh, developed this thing and so for many people uh, they were uh, thinking about what axis is uh, Gax Technologies is doing. So uh, we are actually a IIT startup. Uh, we are in uh, India, in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai. So we manufacture 3D printers. At the same time, we also uh, give a printing solution for uh, customers uh, from big companies. Uh, uh, what we do unique is uh, we manufacture 3D printers which can withstand uh, high. Um, moving speed like it, uh, we use uh, 150 to 100 mm per second is our default printing speed uh, at the same time we don't uh, compromise on quality um, so we we know some tips and tricks for uh, high speed uh, uh, printing uh, we we used to print in pla abs nylon petg carbon fiber 
and we are uh, going to launch other uh, printers uh, which is a unique kind of thing uh, it is actually a multi purpose 3d printer which has 3d printing laser engraving and uh, you, you can also use those machine for mass production because it is it has a particular uh, tool uh, called as duplicator which actually works like a, dan a tandem uh, idea so it, it will be coming in the update soon uh, so you need to be stay tuned for uh, knowing many things from us and we also have ideas to manufacture a printer which can print peak altum uh, and other uh, high graded material which can be used in uh, space uh, research and also in defense and uh, we also work in uh, medical project which we which is which is a basically a, uh, alternative for uh, uh, heavy uh, fracture cast so that that will be uh, shown in later videos and uh, right now the design is going on once the product is finished we will be uh, launching it so so if anyone has any doubts on arduino and other stuff related to arduino please let us know because we have discussed a lot during this uh, time of development so uh, if anyone has any doubts on arduino and other stuff related to arduino please let us know because we have discussed a lot during this uh, time of development so uh, if anyone has any doubts or uh, queries in arduino uh, Uh, anything related to Arduino, please do let us know, cause we would love to share our knowledge to other people also. Cause knowledge is knowledge is the only thing which doubles when sharing. So please do let us know. And also, if anyone is uh, interested in uh, doing such projects, please do let us know so that we can uh, we can uh, tell you or explain you about the design. And uh, you can uh, find our uh, mail ID or any contact in the video in this video. So please do let us know. And uh, we will be showing a picture of our hot and which we use, and it can go up to uh, 250 mm per second, which we have tested it. And we actually printed our first uh, pro first uh, iteration in uh, our uh, heater block, which has the peak block installed in it. Which we machined uh, in the in our uh, mini VMC. So uh, we got pissed off by the filament because uh, the filament has some uh, defects in it, and it's a very very leading company. And we will expose that uh, what uh, what happened uh, during the during the printing uh, in our next video. And if you have any uh, like if you have any problem with your Arduino boards. and if you have any interest in uh, doing this kind of a setup and if you are interested in uh, any other stuff related to 3d printing and have any queries or something please do let us know and we would love to help you yeah regarding this uh, design the, the design will be available um, if you uh, write it in the command then we can work with it and I, the main thing is it, it need to be uh, given to every diy person and which we think is uh this should be not kept as a secret or any pattern sort of thing so we need this to be uh upgraded or uh, if anyone thinks we can change any other thing so that it works perfectly um but but we would be changing this into some metal kind of thing so that it, it can uh tackle high it's under heavy loads of yeah. the machine and uh, also uh, uh we would love people to contact us in case uh, if you would need this design or you have anything in mind with this uh this kind of a design or you have a, you need yeah. a reference in this design uh please write us uh let us uh, let us know in any other uh, mode of con contact and uh, we would love we would love to share share some knowledge with you so we are uh... Uh, repeatedly seeing some uh, small students to college uh, persons uh, developing 3d printer by themselves so we were, we are ready to um, help them a lot uh, because in this thing there is nothing to be kept as a secret and we we were working for 3 uh, years in it so in instagram we uh, repeatedly uh, see people trying to print their uh, idea into your project and there are some people uh, trying to manufacture their own 3d printer so we are uh, ready to help them and um, because the printing and uh, manufacturing their own thing doesn't come easily so uh, we are uh, 
trying to help you in case of technical aspect and other thing so we are not in the thing like we know everything in reality so uh, we are ready to exp- uh, share our experience and we work in this for 3 uh, years uh, right now so uh, next upcoming videos will be regarding uh, how 3d printing is going in india and um in a good way or in a bad way there are two things in it so stay tuned to our channel and uh, follow us uh, comment us and subscribe us so we need more support from you um so it, it will be a close loop because uh, just giving a video is not the good thing so we need some feedback from us so that we can change it out or we can improve it uh, so that's it uh, until bye bye see you next